Hamia, everybody! Hello, hello, hello. Something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me today. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, you guys, but something is wrong with me today. Aye! Aye! Indeed! Well, Mia, everybody! Ah, uh, thank you for coming today! This is Zuneria Gentry, Soon Dreams Dream, even Spider Mama, Amiya Aranya. How's it going? Uh, I think I'm like. I'm like all. I'm like all glitched out or something. Something. Something happened. Something happened, but it's okay. Um, my face is okay, and that's all that really matters because my face is the, the, the cutest part of me, I think. And then also, 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 I also, um. Also, I have a feeling I'll be back to normal in, you know, just a couple of hours, so... Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, I just got a little bit corrupted. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming! Uh, Kat, thank you for the, uh, donation. I'm related to this stream, but I know I'll forget if I don't ask today. Since you've gotten back into the Metroid groove, would you consider a stream of Kaizo-esque? Kaizo-esque? Games, since Kaizo Metroid is apparently a thing. Oh, like Kaizo Mario? Uh, probably n not. I mean, Kai I mean, Metroid's giving me, me enough difficulty as it is, probably. I might be all Metroided out for a bit after this one. Uh, happy hump day, comfy stream. Ikuze. Yeah, 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 comfy stream. Um, uh, James Paul, thank you so much for the seven months. Uh, hello, Ami. I finally have a day off to build a new game display case. Wow. Happy I can have a glitchy spider as background noise while I build. I'm happy too. I'm happy too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think the corruption outfit is cute? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. And my, uh, what about my face? What about my, <laughs> what about my face too? Um. Anyway, let me say hi to everybody. I'm, I, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling perfectly fine. I'm just... Something happened to me. Something just happened to me, you know? That's all, that's all. Anyway, let me say hi to, hi to everybody. Uh, hello to Naruko, hello Wilson, and Strike, and Lone, and Sturm. Oh gosh, there's so many of you here already. I'm just gonna be six, 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 so difficult to say hi. Hello Backslash, hello Android, hello CR, and Pudstorm, and Gudare, and Yonjunana, and Akatsuki, and uh, Koala Slime, and Sumptuous Potato, and Pushel. And Cat and Deku Fire Mage and Cat Bus and um and Jibin and Shrike and Noah and Jello Man and Mega Blender and Attaboy and Wilson and Choco Milk Tea and D and Jelly Head and So Somo Man and Hello Berserk Rage and Icebox and Roger and Uris and Hello to Razuri and Hello um Dan Hello Magik Hello Arion Hello King Ganyu Hello Data Hello Panda Man I'm I'm definitely repeating myself but I'm trying to speed run <laughs> I'm trying to speed run it today Hello Jello Man Hello Togebi Hello Espers Hello uh, Skywind Studio, hello to Mega Blender, hello James. Uh, wow, wow, it already, it already skipped, it already skipped. Uh, hello Pushel, hello Yuku, hello uh, Koshi, hello Roger, hello Helipua, hello Nosnebor, hello uh, Jamal. Oh god, it skipped again. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god, it skipped again. Uh, hello, uh, MG Bin, hello Bert, hello to Precise, hello Yonju Nana, and Temporal Paradox, and John Zero, and Xiao. And Nekaro, and Gamecraft, and Dylan, and uh, that's a very fancy name you got there, Dylan. And Gary Snail, and uh, Otoy Golden, and Roy, and RJ. And 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 Gak. <laughs> uh, hello, Nasnabor. Nice. Uh, hello, Jason. A nice glitch you got there. Hello, Uncle Red. Hello, Batsu. Hello, Mr. Front. Hello to Trust and uh, James Pod and Choco Milk Tea and um, uh, Arker and hello to Renier and Frisetti and Guile and Fatless and going on. And hello to Hannibal Feather and Faisal Nen and Faka Nen and uh, um, Doggo. Uh, and hello to uh, Akatsuki and Zabolisk. And I'm definitely repeating myself. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> um, hello Zoe, hello Karma, hello Lazim, hello um, uh, James, hello Gudai, hello No Fun Zone, hello Cosmic Spear. And. Uh, Jonathan and Ultor Golden and James uh James and hello to uh Tom, hello Mad Dog, hello Dr. Cranberry, hello Temrose, say hello Tomo, hello Fatless, hello to um uh, Conky, hello Plenum, hello uh Wait, my voice is cuter than usual? That's not possible. That's not possible. My voice is the same voice. No, it's my it's my outfit that's cuter than or no, it's not cuter than usual. It's more corrupted than usual. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, Togebi and uh, Boo Ohamiya, and hello to um, 
Brian and Anna and and um um meow 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 uh hello panda man hello oh my goodness this takes so long <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Iris San, hello, hello, Mankian, hello, uh, CBM, hello to uh, Deku Fire Mage. This is what happens when you commission your rig to EA. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's EA's fault. Hello, Germ, um, and uh, Nova, hello, ba bum ba bum ba ba. Hello, Pippa, uh, Pippa's. I need the vegetables. I still, I, I, I still, I feel like I can't call you like you, just Pippa, you know. <laughs> Because you're not Zippa. Anubis, hello. Um, hello, Revaver. Hello to, um, uh, Turbo. Hello, uh, James Colonel. Hello, Sagittarius. Um, you think the glitch pattern looks good on me? Well, it's gonna be gone soon. I, I think, I think normal me looks better, personally. Oh my god. Uh, hello, Lyrical Curry. Hello, um, Bon Bombs. Hello, Steve. Hello, Implode. Hello, Cross Shame. Hello, Nemoshi. Hello, Chaos Muffins. Hello, Fizzle Pickle. And, um, um, Skywind Studios and Hecatom and Adam and, uh, Silver Myth and Potato Idea and Not One of Us. And hello to, uh, Nicholas Cage and Mauricio and Shang and Pepega. And I think I got everybody. I think I got everyone. Uh, sorry for all that, all that, all that, you know, so many hellos today. Um, but not sorry because I have to. I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to say hi to everyone, or else that breaks the rules. My 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 rules. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing really good today. It's uh Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's Wednesday. Oh my goodness, Noah, thank you so much for the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Uh, everybody, please, if you got a gifted membership, please say thank you. Um, and if you're too shy to say thank you, I will say it on your behalf. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I also got a super chat from someone, uh, Hamu, who says asbestos is delicious. No, I would not recommend... Thank you very much for the super chat, but I disagree. I would not recommend, uh, touching asbestos. I would not recommend, uh, you know, even going anywhere near that stuff. I, I don't, I don't think it's delicious. Uh, eat food, eat food, that's all I gotta say. Ah, <laughs> ah, oh, oh, my mouth is dry now, hold on. <laughs> Let folks know there's a member stream, membership stream later today. Um, yes, yeah, so there is a membership stream. We're doing a watch along of a, um... A video about uh, yeah. Polybius, which is like a, you know, an urban a video game urban myth. Um, you probably heard of it before, but the video is by uh, Ahoy. At least I think that's the right one. I think that's the right one. Hello, El Bondi. Yeah, I got a little. I'm a little glitched yeah. out today, but you know what? I'm feeling fine, and I have a feeling that it's gonna be fine in you know a couple hours. A couple hours, it'll be fine. It'll be too late for me. Yeah, my apologies about that. Last my last month's membership stream was was um earlier uh in the morning for for myself. Um so this one is um later uh later on in the day this time because uh, I try I try and switch whether I do them in the morning or the evening to accommodate as many people as possible because I know there's people um all around the world who, who watch me so I I will usually alternate uh, the times so yeah it, 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 it's unfortunately not not really possible for me to make it so that everyone can catch every membership stream but I do my very best I do my very best um you listen man hello I'm not cursed I'm not cursed it's fine hello Kirby as well um <clears throat> Believe me, I haven't heard about that in decades. Well, it should be, it should be a fun, it should be a fun, uh, a fun little documentary sort of thing to watch together. Uh, what happened to my look? Yeah. I'm all glitched out because today's stream is about glitches. <laughs> um, hello Tanaka and hello, uh, Snee as well. What happened? I'm just a little bit, uh, I just feel a little funny, you know? I just feel a little yeah. funny. Yeah. I don't know what's yeah. happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm feeling so funny today. Anyway, uh... <laughs> oh, you know what? I realized that was for 20 gifted memberships and I only said thank you 10 times. Thank you, 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 thank you. That's another, that's another 10 for 20 thank yous total. Thank you very much. 
Um, for future watch alongs, have you watched Nick Arcade? I have no idea what. Yeah, oh! Uh, yeah. Yes! I actually don't know what that is. Oh, that could be fun. Ooh, that could be fun. Did I consume that forbidden what forbidden water? You you don't mean the forbidden water. Do you? Yeah. I mean I'm missing out around yet. Yeah, I'm missing though today. Uh I'll feel as cool as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, that was mine? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Accounting is hard. Uh, Dylan, I don't know what you mean by how much time do I have. If you're asking how long I'm going to be streaming today, I um, am going to be... Uh, it's going to be a little bit shorter than normal. I don't have a ton of glitches to go over today, but I do have some funny and interesting Amiya. ones. Yeah. And I will do my best to uh, describe them all to you guys. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, a little bit shorter of a presentation than normal because I have to, you know, get I have to eat before the member stream, member membership stream and stuff later. So, um, yeah, apolo apologies in advance, but you know, it's kind of for the best anyway because <laughs> it's kind of for the best anyway because I can't, um, <clears throat> I couldn't find a ton, 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 and, and and the ones that I could find, it was a little bit hard to find, like, you know, examples of them. Don't stop asking what made it on the list. You gotta wait and see. You gotta wait and see. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. I'm not gonna spoil any surprises. Um, um it's still cardboard, of course, of course, of course. It's still cardboard. Oh my gosh, the notifications are still going. <laughs> um, add several kilograms of potassium to your daily water. Wait, isn't potassium like only in bananas or something? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to the cardboard. Well, you know, like, the cardboard may have something a little bit wrong with it, too, you know? I don't know. I'm just... No, 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 don't apologize at all. It's all good. I'm just, like, amazed that, uh, that it's actually <laughs> still going. I think it's done now, though. I think it's done now, though. Um, You're still... You guys are still cute. You guys are still cute. <laughs> but yeah, kilograms is a lot. That's, like, a thousand grams times mm, several. <laughs> You can almost make a list just from glitches you found on stream. True, true. I can make my own. I can make my own. Uh, Mercenary, hello. And hello, Bubon, as well. Looking forward to the stream since I saw the waiting room go up. Well, I'm happy. I hope it doesn't disappoint. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Um, not a ton of stuff today, but it's fun what we're looking at, I think. And I'm gonna do my best to describe everything as best as I can. Uh, I couldn't find, like, a... For some of the glitches, I couldn't find like an explanation as to why they occur or how to get them to occur necessarily. Um, but I tried to find. Hello, Optimum. Hi. Ah. <laughs> and hello, Kirby, as well. Thank you guys for coming. <clears throat> All right, let's get switched over, shall we? Um. Is your Venom glitch to cause different effects today too? Maybe, maybe. That's for me to know and for you to not find out. <laughs> um, you can make a paint drying watch along fun. Oh, I doubt that. I doubt that. I mean, I was just turning into like a Zatadan. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to my cardboard? Oh my god. Hi, Yuki. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't know what to do. I guess, um, I'm a really bad actor. <laughs> Hello, sea lion. It's Kowalik. What can I? Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> manga, manga, manga. I hope the whole presentation's not like this. That would get really distracting. That would get really distracting if it was the whole presentation. Oh, no. Plug it off and on. There is no plug. It's cardboard. <laughs> it's cardboard. There's no plug. Okay. <laughs> Everybody panic! Okay, so uh, I split it up into two different categories today. I, I can't lie, I, I can't. I'm not a good actor. <laughs> Hello, Princess Akos. Sorry, you might recommend it. I'm interested in seeing what glitches you're going to look at, so I'll hang out. I'm glad, I'm glad. Please hang out with us. So um, I split this into two uh, different categories today. So one of them is... Uh, the first one we're going to look at is some funny uh, graphical glitches. So glitches that uh, occur in, you know, the graphics of games. So I have a couple of those. And then I have a couple of ones that are like gameplay related glitches. Um, and some of the stuff will be spoilers for more recent stuff. But I'll, I'll make sure, I'll do my best to let you guys know beforehand if there's gonna be spoilers. Yeah. I will warn you sufficiently. I will, I, I will do my best to warn you sufficiently. Hello, Lewis! <sighs> Hi, Hokusai. 
They glitched her and they're gonna glitch me! Oh my god! <laughs> Need to update the cardboard 2.0. No, no, I can never. They're just gonna mess with the interface and they're gonna make it look so different. They're gonna make it look way too different. I, I and I won't be able to handle it. Change. I can't handle. <laughs> I can't handle change. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna be exploring the get down glitch? Yeah, you just gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You'll see. Okay. Just gotta. Just gotta. Be patient. Be patient, little buckles. Oh, Nightmare Soft, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, so much before we even get started. <laughs> um, um, please say thank you if you were gifted a membership from um, Nightmare Soft. And if you're too shy to say thank you, I will say it for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, some buckles in the chat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So now lots of people, lots more people will be able to join the membership uh, stream later if you guys want to. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Nightmare Soft, thank you so much! Uh, alright, alright. Uh, let us get to the presentation, shall we? Okay, so the first section is... Graphical glitches. <laughs> graphical glitches. Those things that mess with your game and they make it look super scary. Um, I have some actual... Act I actually, I ended up adding a section that was like... Warning, warning! From this stage on is Nightmare Fuel! But then, um... What, what ended up happening was that, like... They're kind of all a little bit of nightmare fuel, kind of a little bit. A little bit. So, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll just warn you ahead of time. But then the ones after the nightmare fuel warning are like extra, extra nightmare fuel. <laughs> Should have been a seizure warning? Uh, is this flashing enough to cause like a uh, photosensitivity issues? If it is, then um, a photosensitivity warning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I always, I always don't remember about that sort of thing. <clears throat> you don't get scared. We'll see, we'll see. One of these actually made me physically cringe and it gave me actual goosebumps. It gave me actual goosebumps. So, I'll show you. Okay, so the first one is from a game called Mount and Blade. Have you guys ever have you heard of this game? Have you played this game? Have you played this game? Have you heard of this game? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a single player, it's an open world game and you ride around on a horse and you fight people with swords and uh, it appears to take place in medieval times. And apparently the gameplay is like pretty, pretty, uh, freeform from what I understand. <laughs> Mountain Blade is cool. Uh, you know Mountain Blade? Cool. I, it sounded cool. It sounded cool. I was actually kind of tempted to like give it a try because the way, the way it was described was like, um... You can kind of choose how you want your adventure to go. Like you can decide if you want to like like lead an army or whatever, or you can decide if you want to like go out on your own and you know be like, here I go again on my own. Big fan of Mountain Blade. It's cool. It seems cool. It seems really cool. How, so, uh, how many of you have gotten this bug? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> So, uh, this is a horrifying a glitch that some players experience. And I, what, what I can only assume happened is that it places a, um, face texture inside of the, the, the sky box. Which, which produces like a, um, kind of like a, um, what's, what's the word I want to use? A Mufasa-esque Experience, you know, you know, in The Lion King, where where there's the one scene where Mufasa is in the sky and he's like, Simba, remember? <laughs> That's what's happening here. Uh, except it's way more distorted and horrifying, and it makes it makes the the face texture look very, very, very angry. Makes it look very, very, very angry, uh, which is further scary. Um, spoilers! I'm sorry, spoilers for... Remember who you are. Spoilers for Lion King. <laughs> spoilers for Lion King. What made the game think this was a good idea? Well, I... I'm not exactly sure, but I have a theory, okay? I couldn't... When I, when I researched this glitch, I couldn't really find anything, but I do... Have my own theory about it. Okay. And you guys, if, if there's any, like, game developers who are, um know about this sort of thing, you can let me know if you think I'm maybe on the right track. <laughs> Probably not, though. Uh, yeah, I have a little, I have a little theory. A little theory. Uh, it's angry and derpy. There are other ones that look more angry rather than, you know, derpy. This one was kind of, this one was just like the best, most centered picture I could find, and I like that it had the sun in it. <laughs> 
uh, old mountain blade had a fun bug where if where if you were walking backwards while on your horse, you could go up pretty much any surface. I heard about that one as well. How do you trigger it? Well, you don't trigger it. It's just kind of it's one of those ones that just kind of happens. And definitely a memory leak. I see this happen in any open world 3D game. I leave on for really long. It gets an address for the texture wrong. Oh, interesting. So my theory was that um, there's a there is a, a, a race condition which. I don't fully understand the meaning of the phrase race condition, okay, but it's possible that the game maybe they expect the texture for the skybox to be loaded first, you know. And then, uh, because it's probably a less complex texture, but on rare occasions, maybe the different texture, the face texture gets loaded first, and then this is what happens. I don't know, I don't know if that's how games actually work. Um... Uh, and you know, I just kinda, I just kinda pulled that out of my, you know, you know, <laughs> I just gotta pull that out of my uh, meow. <laughs> so I don't actually know if that could be anything close to what happened. What's happening? Uh, don't think a race condition would apply here. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Good old computer science jargon. I feel like I'm on an episode of Star Trek, and I'm just like saying, um, I'm just like saying words, you know. <laughs> Uh, pull it out of my dehumid- that's the word, that's the word, out of my dehumidifier. Won't you explain? Uh, yeah, it was pulled out of my dehumidifier, yeah. Yeah, my sources, I made it up. Race condition is what happens when multiple things are happening simultaneously and they touch the same thing unsafely, leading to predi unpredictable timing sensitive results. <gasps> Could that be what this is? We don't know, except you guys probably know. You guys seem to think it's a memory leak, and I'm sure you're- <laughs> I'm sure you're correct, I'm sure you're correct. Texture memory related. Uh See, I knew the beautiful geniuses in my chat would have fun with this stream. Um... Oh, there's one- there's one that you nerds are gonna love. You- you- not- not like you nerds as in like you guys are nerds, but like any nerdy people in the chat who are nerdy about like numbers and stuff, you guys are gonna be- you guys are gonna feel like it's cool. It's cool, I think. I think. Um, and I'm gonna- it's a- it's a- again, one kind of thing that I'm gonna try to explain that I probably won't be able to explain well. You are a nerd though? Right, I'm just trying to clarify that I'm not saying you were all nerds. I'm just saying those of you who are nerds are going to... <laughs> are going to, um... Uh, like a couple of these because they're kind, of, they're kind of technical, you know? Then what is it? Well, you have to wait. You have to wait and see. I'm not going to tell you yet. Alright, so the next one I have is... Uh, it's talking about... Da-da-da-da! Cartridge tilting. Okay. So, you know what? Messing with your game cartridge, like a physical game cartridge, can cause all kinds of problems. All kinds of problems. And, um... You've probably come across it if you ever played a cartridge, um... A cartridge-based game. You might have experienced it, you know, where, um... You, you have a game and it's in slightly wrong, or maybe you nudged or knocked your console and it got dislodged a little bit. Um, <clears throat> uh, so you, if you, and you can do it on purpose too, you can slowly like wiggle the game, you know, and then it can cause some problems. Sometimes nothing happens and sometimes the entire game will turn off. But in the rare occasion, you can just kind of, uh, you know, just gently wiggle it side by side. And then, some crazy stuff will happen. I have a couple examples of this. Um, so it can cause, it can cause, um, you know, the pins don't properly connect. Is, this is my assumption. This is my assumption. I know some. Um, my assumption is that the, it causes the pins to not properly co connect, which means that some data doesn't get like, you know, doesn't get from the cartridge to the hardware. So... It causes like graphical glitches and like I guess sometimes gameplay related or sound related even to happen. Um, but I don't recommend trying it because it can actually be bad. It can hurt your games actually. Uh, and if unless you don't care about uh, the games themselves or you have multiple cards, I probably wouldn't try it. Apparently, it can also corrupt save data and damage the hardware and maybe even cause short circuits. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I read. Uh, little hash hello. Um, and I like this one. This is one of my favorite glitches because it resulted in a very interesting, very popular, uh, meme, you know. Sometimes it can corrupt saves. That's not what happened to me. No, I don't think that's what happened to me. I think, I think my save battery either is just 
was just drained on Super Metroid or became disconnected. Yeah, I know how bad messing with the cartridge can be. <laughs> Did you ever try this yourself? No, I don't want to mess with my games. I don't want to mess with my games. Uh, and when I was a kid, I probably wouldn't have even thought to do stuff like this. Because we had like a Sega Genesis, you know. I probably wouldn't have even come close to even thinking about doing something like that to my cartridges, you know. I was just interested in playing the games. Uh, but anyway, let's watch some videos. Cartridges were treated as an extension of the system memory by the system. That's why. It's why there wasn't loading too. Oh my god, cartridges are clearly the superior form of... <laughs> Of entertainment, despite despite not being able to, to, you know, store that much data. You're messing with the only way your console can communicate with the cartridge. All those things absolutely have it with tilting. Even the short circuit one? That's so scary. Anyway, let's watch some videos, shall we? Okay, I will mute my uh, music for a moment. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, from Hey You Pikachu, which is a very cute game for N64 where you like, um... You can like talk to Pikachu. It's cute. It's cute. <clears throat> I picked a particularly scary one. So warning, warning. <laughs> so the music you can probably hear is already like kind of, kind of meowed up. <laughs> ah! His face. Oh Pikachu, are you okay? Oh my god. It's like a freaking creepy pasta. Listen, it just sounds like a single organ core going over and over. He turned into FNAF. He has a nice beard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he has a nice beard. Okay, now here's another one. Throw a bubble at the Pikachu. Pikachu go to TV. Pikachu, look at your tail hat. Oh, so cute, Pikachu. Pikachu, turn on TV. Pokemon quiz. Oh. Uh oh, those noises aren't supposed to happen. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't actually mean to scream. Oh my god. What happened to War Turtle? Oh, I like that you can hear you can hear like the guy uh talking through his microphone. <laughs> Pikachu, no! No! It, yeah, it's exactly it feels like a creepypasta, right? And then and then Pikachu. What's gonna happen to this? What is this? A vile plume? What's gonna happen to the vile plume? Ah, uh, no, Pikachu's so he's so upset. He looks like that. He looks like um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so sad. Um, my friend Conky told me your glasses are fake and you don't actually need them to see. What? Conky, is this true? Of course I need them to see. I just don't have to wear them all the time, you know, because I can still do stuff without them, but uh, I have to wear them or my eyesight gets worse. But I don't. <laughs> you thought he died. There's a lot of like, oh my god, he died clips happening uh, in this stream today. All right, okay, now we're going to go to the next one. There's another video. Is this going to work? What happens when I click on this? Oh my goodness, it just opens a new tab. I don't know why this video in particular is such a problem. Maybe it was because it was uploaded in 2008, but that's okay. I'll show you guys. But I can't, I can't play the sound for this, so I'm just going to have to do a, um... I'll just have to do, like, a dramatic recreation of the audio. Okay. Um, hold on, let me, let me capture the new window that popped up. It's not, it's not embedding for some reason. Probably because it's an old YouTube video. <clears throat> Hey, sorry, sorry, hold on, almost there, almost there. And by the way, the song is going to be, um... Get down by, uh... Why won't it let me freaking click on that freaking thing? Get, uh, sorry, not get down, it's called Promise by, um... Komihirose. It's not called Get Down. Let me move this for a sec, let me... Why, 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 why? Okay, hold on, let me switch, let me switch my screen for a sec. How annoying. All 
right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, so this is the video. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the sound and I will just do a dramatic uh, recreation, okay? Get down, you didn't want the food, and it's it tonight. Kimochi, Futari de Ishan in a Muru Winterland. Anata, the Kimitimete, what the she, the Kimitimete, as well. You can't do tomorrow, and do tomorrow, call it a go, Koro. Hagashiku, my eater, you can eat tomorrow. Ay, and me, I stare, yo, yo, what's happening? I stare, do to eternal. <laughs> anyway, that's the uh, that's the one. This is GoldenEye uh, 007. That's that game. <laughs> um, and then I have one more. I have one more cartridge tilting uh, business to show you guys. Let me get rid of this. Meow. Meow. And this one is uh, Super Mario 64. <clears throat> Come on, come on. Side, oh yeah, the guy's like describing stuff, so his narration's kind of like. Normally, the first <laughs> thing to go will be the music and the sound effects. It makes it it makes it a little spooky. His narration does. Uh oh, oh, oh it's Atari sounds. What's happening? Ah, I don't then, feel so good. <laughs> Mario will take a turn for the worst and sink into the ground, beep, beep, beep. and then you can start to break dance. Okay, so him. now he's in the ground, and then something happens where it's it's like very horrific. No, he's where is legs? This, where is why legs? Try jumping. His legs You'll are gone. For some reason, he's missing his legs. He's not just planking. His legs are gone. It's scary. Also. Ah! Why is there steam coming from his butt? Crazy results. <laughs> the earth is claiming him. Oh no. He's turning into Pac Man. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then there's one later in this er, earlier in this video, maybe, but it's kind of sad. It, it, it involves Yoshi. Pick up the wing cap, and once it's resting is it this on one? Mario's head, you'll need to. No, it's not this one. Roof and sell back on I, I honestly debated on whether I wanted to Where show it or not because it was like so sad. To save those all Let me see if I can find it. By being able to it's sad, but it's also kind of funny. Speech, as once and Yoshi's okay in the end. From within the warp pipe and stepped onto the bridge. Cap, and once it's resting on Mario's head, no, all I can find is this thinking is this thinking wing cap one. Okay, whatever. So the other one was no, it's not that bad. <laughs> Just a little bit sad. It was um, it was um, if you if you're on the, you know how Yoshi's like on the roof, I guess for some reason. I don't know. I didn't. I never finished Mario sixty four. Um, you know how how Yoshi's like on the roof. Eventually, he 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 might just you know wander off the roof. He might just wander away. But then, you, then you turn around and Yoshi's back. He's totally fine. But yeah, he he, he yeah, he meow and dies. <laughs> Matt B, thanks for the super chat. Con Spooter, did you cover the Super Mario sixty four bit flip jump? It happened during an aided speed run. Cosmic Ray st struck the ram, changed Mario's height. You know, there's a lot of Mario sixty four glitches. So this is the only one I have for this game this time. But I kind of want to do something separate, uh, talking about like speed run tactics and stuff at some point. Maybe. So, we can maybe include that in that one. Uh, thank you so much for the, the super chat. <laughs> Mario killing off Yoshi is not... No, Mario doesn't do it. He just runs off the, he just runs off the freaking roof himself. It's so sad. You can mess with his pathing. Well, maybe it is Mario's fault then. Hmm. Yeah, the parallel universe thing, I do not understand that in the slightest. I watched that video so many times and I was like... Huh? I still don't understand the half A press. I still don't understand. He wanted to fly while he didn't have wings, so he can't fly. <laughs> Poor Yoshi. Although he can get wings, right? If he swallows like the red uh, shell or whatever in uh, Super Mario World. Uh, anyway, that's the cartridge tilting business. So that's the only one for um, that game. You can't press half a button? That's what I thought when I watched the video, but I don't know. I don't know. It's very weird. It's very strange. Oh, sorry. Blue shell. Blue shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I agree? It's cool and funny. I mean, it's cool. Is it funny? The fact that it has parallel universes in it is funny. <laughs> I mean, 
Is that funny? Yeah, I guess that's kind of funny. In a way. <laughs> Quantum, quantum, quantum mechanics, quantum, uh, quantum physics, uh, string theory, string theory. Uh, Matt, thank you so much for the um, super chat. This happened during a speedrun, but wasn't intentional. Did lead to people cooking their consoles on purpose. Don't do that though, bad for longevity. Oh, I would never try and like, duplicate a glitch that would mess with the actual, you know, functioning of the game or whatever. Amiya <laughs> You press the button and hold by not releasing it, you've pressed it halfway, half a press. Oh right, because because it's it's like three states, right? As you're pressing it and as it's being held, and then as you're releasing it. I think that's the idea. I think that's the idea. Are you hi, oh Hamia? Uh alright, let's go to the next glitch, shall we? Or the next glitch is. Again, this is like an association of glitches. But this time it's all in one game. All in one game. And these are a little bit of a nightmare fuel too, like like I said, but they're not as they're not as bad as the the second half <laughs> of this section of the presentation. Okay, FIFA, everything, everything. For some reason, this this game has like so many graphical glitches. For for I don't know why, it's so weird because like <clears throat> from my understanding from like FIFA games, they kind of they kind of re-release it every year, right? And then every time, every time they re-release it, it's like, how can, how does it get, how does it get messed up? You know, you think you would be able to fix it <laughs> because they re-released it. I think just to like change stats and like, I don't know, players and stuff. So come on, just fix that stuff. Just fix that stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I have no idea um, what it is about these games that cause these to happen, but there's a lot of them. So there's like giant limbless goalies. There's play players turning into twisted abominations, and then there's strange, strange goings on between between some of the players. And you'll understand what I mean uh, in a minute. In a minute with the strange goings on um, comment. <laughs> um. And I have a few of the more funny ones, so we can watch them, we can watch them. You're assuming they care enough outside of the money it rakes in? I don't know, I don't know, just like, it can't be that hard to fix, right? <laughs> I expect your blade! Okay, let's watch, let's watch, shall we? What the heck is spaghetti code? <laughs> okay, so here's, here's a good one. Uh, language warning, these guys, these, these guys are, I can just turn off the sound, I guess. Sports gaming. FIFA in hood. <laughs> Susports Gaming. Wait, it's so secret from Gaming Central. What the heck? Okay, well, Susports Gaming, I guess. This channel stole it. Okay, so here's the goalie. His limbs are gone. His head is gone. He's gigantic and he's doing a strange maneuver. He's doing a strange... He's doing a strange game of, of footsie. I don't know. You know? Maybe that's just what the goalie normally does, actually. He might actually normally... He might actually normally do footwork like that. It's very possible. And it just looks extra hilarious because because he's giant. <laughs> Spaghetti gets really tangled and you can't keep it straight. Spaghetti code is the same. Oh, so kind of like my website. <laughs> so... Wow! Wow, that's a big... And he kicked the ball. You know, I feel like he would be able to kick it with such force where like... It would just it would just fly across the the freaking field, you know, completely. And that's not the only crazy graphical glitch from the FIFA game. Okay. Okay, here's another sketchy one. Spoilers, you can already see it from the from the freaking um thumbnail, but You can have sound for this one, I think. I don't think it actually has sound. Ria, hi, oh Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. What's wrong with their legs? So I have no idea what would cause this to happen. I don't know. Is there like a mechanic in this game where some players can break their legs and it gets like bent completely in back? Or in front, I guess, in this case. Is that a thing that can happen? But they're just walking around like it's normal. Like they're running around. And again, I don't know what causes this stuff or what triggers it, but it's frightening. It's quite frightening. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> well, that's it for that video, but there's one more. Maybe, I think. Unless... I tried to find one I could include, and then... Th this next one, I tried to find a video I could include, and there was one that was really funny. Amiya, but then they, like, they, like, 
just like they did they did some weird stuff with it and made it like you know yeah bye so i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't use it so i had to use a different one uh, Kat, thanks for the donation. My friend worked at EA for a couple years as a bug tester. She always told me they never bothered to fix most of the bugs she found. Something about the team involved didn't care enough to actually fix things, so they left any annoying bugs in. Why even have bug testers then? That's just a waste of- if- if the concern is money, that's also like a waste of money, you know? Okay, so here's this one. So sometimes players will just- this is- I don't know if this is really a glitch. Just like an unintended thing with how some of the players move. But, um... Well, here is that earlier. Oh my god! Oh um, my god! So close. Did you see that? <laughs> uh, action replay. I mean, replay. Well, here is that earlier incident, so Alan. So close. How load? <laughs> it's a wholesome glitch. There were there were some that were more like uh, you know they were there were some that were more Yavai and I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't put it in the video because like I don't know they had some weird captions they had some red arrows pointing it was just too much i couldn't i couldn't include it yeah the earlier and, and what the what the narrator says is so funny he goes here's some footage of that earlier incident Order. well here is that earlier incident, <laughs> that earlier incident. So close. <laughs> i forgot i totally forgot that he says that i totally forgot that he says that oh my god love blooms on the soccer field <laughs> At least they weren't holding hands. That'd be against the rules. There's one where they like fall onto the ground and it's, it's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, chill. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> that earlier incident. <laughs> that was weird when they just kissed on the field for no reason. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So that was the three funniest ones that I picked for FIFA. You know? But there's a lot of glitches in that game, and they're mostly- I don't think they affect the gameplay that much. So they're mostly just funny, but yeah, it would be annoying to have a game that has this many bugs, and it's like, come on, fix it, you guys. Fix it, fix it, fix it! And it seems like some of them aren't that difficult to get to happen, either. It's not a glitch, it's completely into- I don't think so, I think- I think they're just, like, walking into each other, and they accidentally, you know, butt up against each other in such a way that it looks like they're kissing. Uh, anyway, let's go. The next one. Okay, and now we have reached the section that is officially Nightmare Fuel. Even more so Nightmare Fuel warning than the uh, previous ones. Okay. Warning. Warning. Especially this first one. Especially this first one. This first one, there, there's two in the Nightmare Fuel section. Okay. And this first one gave me actual, gave me actual like, um... Physical goosebumps on my body. It, it affected it affected my my entire body. I have to say this, okay? If you don't like um like holes, you probably won't want to watch <laughs> won't want to watch this next one. A Madden game accidentally changed the player's height to three inches. So one day everyone woke up in this like, wait, was he actually tiny or was it just like in his profile? We already have seen my personal nightmare fuel of having to work on that e Wait, you had to work on that game? Oh, I'm so sorry, break damage. <laughs> yeah, trypophobia warning, yes. Okay, so I know some people are really, really, um... You know, bugged out by that, so to speak. So, just a warning. It's, it won't be scary unless you're scared of that sort of thing. Then it might be scary. Yeah, trypophobia. So, yeah, warning if you, um, have trouble with that sort of thing. Okay, but I'm going to the next slide. Okay, so this is from... Ah, uh, it's hard to look at. This is from a game called MLB The Show. Major League Baseball The Show. Uh, and it's a baseball simulation game. I don't have trypophobia, but it still bothers me. I don't know why. A baseball simulation game. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have played it. The graphics are actually pretty realistic. It's like a good looking game. Um, and they're very nice looking. Uh, it's like almost as if you're watching like an actual baseball game on TV. It's pretty cool if you're into if you're into baseball. I don't personally watch baseball, but it's still kind of cool. And um, so this is from this is from that game. Um, and to be to be fair to them, um, the developers, this glitch did not actually end up in the final in the final game. 
uh, it's something they ran into in early development, but I wanted to include it because I came across it and I had to share this curse with you guys. I cannot bear this. I cannot bear this 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 curse on my own because it gave me physical goosebumps. Okay. So let's watch the video. There is video with him moving as well. His his eyes and his mouth move. Okay. Not as scary as FNAF. FNAF isn't scary. It's just jump scares. It's just jump scares. Uh, okay. 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 Or maybe it's scary to certain people. I don't know. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. FNAF could be scary to you. <laughs> this is more like nightmare fuel. Anyway, it's going to move. Yes. That's what happens when you have a bug. <laughs> oh my God. We've had several bugs. And it, look at the little hair fibers on it. I don't like it. I don't like it. That was a freaky one on the left. I don't like I it. The hair can get stretched across the field. It can become giant. It can do all sorts of crazy things. The right one, uh, play the video. Play the video, we he says. The video, right? So here's the video of it moving. No! 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 I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It has feelings. It has it has a soul. It has consciousness. New creepy pasta just dropped. It's really scary. Okay, so that is um Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know how I got muted. I don't know how that keeps happening. I literally don't press anything and my mic just ends up muted somehow. My hands aren't on my keyboard. My hands aren't on my mouse. OBS is haunted. That's literally the only explanation. Literally the only explanation is that... Is that my OBS is haunted. <laughs> no, it's some kind of... Oh, it could be a glitch. <gasps> Could be a glitch, you guys. Yeah, it makes me feel weird too. So let's move on. Something could crawl. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh my god, it's like the um, it's like the um, the enigma of um. Wait, wait. What is the fault called in that in the Shinji Ito one? Wait, the enigma of. No, you guys. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's called Amigara. That's my name. I'm not gonna become a face full of holes, okay? But. Dur, dur. <laughs> it's Amigara. I guess it's about time I go, I go inside that hole that is made just for me. No, I wouldn't because then I would come out disfigured on the other side and you guys would be sad and I could never deal with that. I will not give in to the Amigara fault. All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, and here we have... Okay, ignore this thumbnail, okay? This thumbnail is clickbait. It's clickbait. The, the demon baby in The Sims does not look like this. Does not look like this, the demon baby in The Sims. It's actually... It's actually a, um... Stop saying next, y'all! Stop saying next! <laughs> I like your new outfit. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll go next when I'm ready to go next. Okay. <clears throat> Chill, chill, chill. John Zero, thank you so much for the super chat. Amigara, um, this is what happened to Buckopia. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <clears throat> what is that? Wait, are we buffering? Are we okay? That's two people who who's who. I s two people who posted buffering emojis. Are we good? <clears throat> I don't have any internet issues on my side. I'm still I'm still uh going strong with internet. So it might be a YouTube thing. Actually, I think I saw someone tweet about having issues with YouTube today. It's good now. Okay, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> it's haunted. Anyway, so this is the uh, demon baby from The Sims Four. Now this is um. Click bait. Okay, the, the the one in the thumbnail does not look like um the actual
actual demon baby that's in the game. The demon baby in the game looks more like the, uh... Right... The... Right hand side... One. <laughs> Anyon, hi! You're a little bit late, but that's okay. You missed... You missed the scariest glitch. So at least there's that. At least there's that. Uh, thank you so much for coming again. Susan was scared and pulled... Yeah, she was like, No, no, no. This can't go on. This can't go on. Uh, so, The Sims 4, you guys know The Sims, right? It's, it's like any Sims game. You create a character or you can create a whole family and you can like customize the... You can build them a house and you can make different rooms and you can, you know, um, trap them all in a swimming pool and take away the ladder. Or you can, you know, trap them all in a basement or you can, you know, uh, kill them in many various different ways. There's a lot of different ways you can, um, you know, mess with your Sims, which is everyone's favorite way to play the game. I have to hope. <laughs> I have to hope it's not just me. <laughs> right? Come on, I'm not the only one who messes with my sims, am I? Do you kill your... I mean, yeah. Uh, ZR, good luck on your yard work. Thank you for stopping in. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's what normal people do. Okay, okay. Okay, I thought so, I thought so. What? The... Everybody does that! Everybody does that! Everybody traps... You can make cute grave gardens with sims... Exactly! No, you guys are not sims to me! <laughs> sims medieval? Well, that's a thing. Well, that sounds really cool. Uh, anyway, uh, you can do all that stuff, or you can just, you know, direct their lives. They can live out their lives, and, you know, it's supposed to simulate a real life. That's why it's called The Sims, you know? No, you, that's not what buckos are to me. Okay, buckos and dream weavers are very, very special to me. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this to me. No. Apologize. Apologize right now. Apologize. <laughs> Apologize. Yeah, you guys are my roller coaster tycoon, uh, tycoon patrons. Yeah. Who would have a funny people town and make them live a normal life? Right, that's no fun. I didn't say anything but sorry, that's okay. Have you ever locked your sims in a walk-in freezer? I would if I could. <laughs> Good that I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Good that I thank you for the seven months. Sorry, it's okay, you guys. I actually have to apologize. I'm just being silly. <laughs> I'm just being silly. By the way, you guys, I've had extra caffeine today. I don't know if it shows, but I feel like I'm starting to take the effects of it. I feel like it's starting to take effect. <laughs> I have more caffeine than normal. Uh, hi, Sir Wentz. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Anyway, let's take a look at this demon. Oh, wait. I have to explain it first. So the Sims 4 specifically has a notorious glitch that will cause the babies to, to, to be horrific, demonic stick monsters. And their their, their fingers would be, would be long stick fingers, like a demon's fingers. And they would have to be sunken faces. And apparently it existed for a really long time before EA finally fixed it. Fixed it. <laughs> Before EA finally fixed it. Okay, and then... And then they were all like, Oh, well, some kind of issue with the integrated chipsets, okay. And depending on what hardware your PC had, it could display the demon baby. That's what they said. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, my outfit is glitched because today's the glitch... The glitch stream, that's why. Oh yeah, this is EA also. EA, come on, you guys. No, they did fix it, though. They did eventually fix it. <laughs> Developer and Tommy voice. Yeah, that's 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 what developer Dami uh, uh sounds like. Okay, um, this is the um um, you know, we we did a fix. Okay, please uh pra pra praise us. <laughs> um, how is that different? Any different from babies IRL? Babies aren't demons. Come on, you guys. Come on, babies are cute. You know, babies are cute and precious. Um, so there is a video of it. So we're gonna watch the video. Uh, any again, heavy clickbait. It doesn't look exactly like this. Do not be, do not be. Ah, sorry. <laughs> do not be deceived. Do not be deceived by the heavy clickbait. Okay. For it. So you may be wondering what <laughs> type of glitches have been found. Well, it's something that can only be described as a demon baby. His music is. Oh God, it's so loud. Why? <laughs> Dude, your so audio balancing! Right, guys, there have been demon babies discovered in The Sims 4. Just gonna keep so my cursor on the freaking thing and here. Of people that have adopted or even had children, and uh, they've just turned into complete monsters. 
And to be honest, <gasps> it looks pretty dang scary. Mother, I require so in this video, I also want to cover the day one patch notes. This is basically <laughs> everything EA is going to um, fix in this patch. As you can see, there's a couple of uh, okay. And now he's just talking about the patch notices. Okay, so this I think is from when like the game was first released. That's why it's called Demon Baby Found. So this guy made this video when the game came out, and he's like, "So they definitely gotta fix some stuff." But you know, the Sims people people are really serious with their Sims. Um, their Sims, you know, lives. So I can understand people putting a lot of pressure on EA to fix something like this and maybe not necessarily something like FIFA, but I don't know for sure. That's just, that's just my like assumption, you know. Yeah, the mother seems happy, you know. You have to, like, what are you gonna do? You have to, at that point, you gotta raise the demon, baby. I mean, what are you gotta do? <laughs> you just gotta hope it becomes undemoned at some point, you know. <laughs> you gotta hope it's not actually possessed and then it just looks like, looks like it's possessed. <laughs> <clears throat> reading this chat from break damage limit the sims 4 had a glitch where if a meteor was heading for school the teacher would not allow the students to evacuate because the meter doesn't the meteor doesn't dismiss you <laughs> the meteor doesn't dismiss you i do truth that is totally something a teacher would they should have left it in was that a bug they should have left that in because that's just <laughs> oh my god that's funny that's goofy, that's goofy. Uh, anyway, end to the nightmare fuel and graphical glitches section, okay. So now, we're moving on to... Da -da 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 -da. Gameplay glitches. Oh no, what's going on with the cardboard? Ah, 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 oh my god, it's, it's glitching again. It was fine for a little bit and now it's glitching again. What caused this to happen? Huh, very strange. <clears throat> Hold on, let me take a sip of my, um... My, my, my beverage. The devs were having a laugh, they were having a giggle. They were having a giggle. <laughs> you can do a whole stream for Sims bugs, like trying for baby with Grim Reaper. They fixed it though, so I couldn't. <laughs> am I acting so good, huh? <laughs> what am I drinking? Um. Okay, you guys. The jig is up, the jig is up. <clears throat> The jig is up. I may have gotten... I may have been really, really, really tired today. And I may have gotten an energy drink for like the first time in my life. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so that's why I'm all, I'm all kind of hyper. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Kawaji. Um, since when are you a member? Uh, you must have gotten gifted a membership. Did you sleep last? I did, I did, but I, I was so tired. I'm still so tired, you know. You're becoming a boomer. Hey. Hey, what do you mean becoming? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. That explains why you're talking so fast. I'm sorry if it's too fast. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll calm down. What energy drink did I get? Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's like, it, it, it has like coffee. It has coffee. What do you mean becoming a boomer? I don't know. Do boomers drink energy drinks? I don't know. I feel like a new, more powerful man. I feel like I am. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Um, overclocked or hyped up on, uh, uh, hopped up on, 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 on the, on the juice. <laughs> This is getting wild. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm a bad influence to the children. I can't. I can't. Can't be drinking energy drinks on the on the on the on the, on, the, on the live on the live broadcast. Boomers drink monster. I didn't say it was a monster. Okay. <laughs> All right. Music is back. We're gonna look at some gameplay glitches. Um, instead of graphical glitches, and the first one. Okay. Somebody suggested this first one. And when I actually, when I actually, um, looked at it, um, I couldn't figure out... It was not clear to me whether or not this was real. And I couldn't really figure out whether it was real. And for some reason, people, people weren't, weren't really able to, like, deny, deny it or prove it one way or the other. But some people did actually, like, um... 
the, 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 like, the, the, the person who made the game came out and was like, that's not real, that's not how this works. Uh, it's like this because of this other reason. So, I don't know, but it was suggested and it was very interesting. And the explanation for it was really interesting. So I think, I think you nerds are gonna love this. Wait, the BGM is louder than it used to be? Are you sure? Is the BGM louder for anyone else? I mean, the BGM was off just a second ago, if that's what you mean. How many Bethesda games do you have in this section? I don't know if I have any, actually. I don't know if I... I don't know if I do. It's fine, okay, sounds right to you. Yeah, you guys are the nerds. Okay, so, um... If you're good at, uh... You know, computer stuff. And you can probably maybe uh, understand what I'm about to say. I don't know if I'm gonna understand what I'm about to say, but um, let's take a look, shall we? So, uh, nuclear Gandhi. And I put questionable legitimacy because... I don't know if it's real. Okay, but it says right here... Uh, oh, this is... By the way, this is from uh, Sid Meier's Civilization. The, the, I think it's the first one. Um, so it says, Oh, most untrustworthy leader of the infidels. Here now, the most exalted president, uh, M. Gandhi of the Indians. Our words are backed with nuclear weapons. Okay. Yes, yes, Albani. It was Albani's suggestion, so thank you very much. Um, uh, Kat, thanks for the donation. Uh, that explains a lot. How are you feeling? Is it... Is it... Uh, hold on, I can't read this. Is it a small can since the first time? Careful not to get addicted. I'm not gonna get it. I mean, I'm already addicted to caffeine. How much more addicted can I be? Possible stream where you try to force glitches bugs. Mm, I think I would have to do that on like an emulator and I don't wanna, you know, use emulators on stream. Uh, maybe for PC games, I could try it at some point. Um, in any case, this is... Uh, so it's Sid Meier's Civilization, which is a turn-based, uh, it's like a strategy game for PC. It was only a bug in the first game, but now it's an official thing. Well, people are saying it's real in the chat, but I all I'm seeing is stuff saying that like it's not been proven. And that it's not a bug, but there's an actual reason for it. So I, I, am, I am questioning whether or not it's real, but they did add it as an Easter egg in Civilization V. Um, but you're in charge of uh, leading a civilization and you have to handle like... Um, you know, government, military, exploration, stuff like that. And you're trying to build an empire, basically, against competing, uh, competing empires. So, the explanation, or the idea behind this supposed glitch... ...is that there is an aggression scale in the... ...what's called an aggression scale in the game. And, uh, it determines the, like, intensity of the actions that some of the leaders take. So, supposedly, Gandhi is supposed to have the lowest at one because... You know, he's Gandhi, he's a peaceful dude, you know. But according to the legend... According to the legend, a glitch in the game made it so that if he lost any of his aggression for whatever reason... ...the aggression scale would go to a negative value, so it would go to a negative one, okay. Um, a value which, when it's stored in an 8-bit unsigned integer variable, where zero is the smallest integer that can be represented... Uh, it rolls back around to become the maximum... Which is 255. So it makes his it made his aggression 255, which is apparently the maximum. Um as to whether or not this is true. Yeah, technically technically underflow, yeah. Technically underflow. Uh, I hope I I hope I uh explained that correctly. Um I'm not very good at like this computer type of stuff, like programming type of stuff, so um, I hope I explained it correct correctly. I tried my best to understand it in like the, a way that I could understand it and explain it to you guys. Um, I couldn't figure out exactly how the number is supposed supposedly gonna change, you know. Um, but that's all. I, that's all I know about this. That's all I know about this supposed glitch. And then Sid Meier, who who made the game, said, um, uh, "It's not a glitch." And Gandhi does seem extra aggressive in the game. Like, apparently he is actually constantly, um, threatening that kind of, um, action. He, he's constantly threatening with nuclear weapons, you know. Apparently, th that part is true. But this is because, it's not because any kind of glitch in the game or any kind of, uh, integer, you know, overflow or whatever. 
Um, but instead, because since he is like you know pacifist and peaceful, he, he the the game is programmed so that he tries to be as like conflict avoidant as possible. So to so to do that, he he often threatens like the worst possible scenario to try and avoid any other like um any other kind of confrontation, if that makes sense. Because obviously, uh, you know, that type of weapon is like, you know, a, a big, 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 big thing. <laughs> um, so as to whether or not it's a glitch, Sid Meier, who created the game, um, says it's not a glitch. And I couldn't find any information about whether it was in the code or not, whether anyone was, was able to like look into the code and actually figure out for sure whether it was there. So I'm, I'm kind of... Tempted to believe that this isn't real, but it's really, really funny if it is real. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that, um... The cool thing about this, uh, game and this, you know, supposed glitch... Um... Is that... It's been used to teach integer overflow at CompSci courses at Harvard! Harvard University! The Harvard! They use freaking Civilization Gandhi... <laughs> uh, Nuclear Gandhi at, at freaking, um... You know, Harvard. Sid Meier was an egoist that would never admit to a glitch in the first place? Possibly, possibly. I don't know anything about um, the gentleman who made Civilization. I don't know anything about Sid Meier. That's the first time I read something he said was today. <laughs> so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. He could be he could be also lying, you know. But I would be interested to see if somebody in... Um, if somebody ever, like, went inside the code and was able to look at whether or not it was actually, you know, a negative value. <clears throat> that became a value of 255. I'd be very curious to know. Um, but it's also very possible that he was like, a glitch in my game? Nah. <laughs> nah. But his explanation kind of sounds possible too. So I don't know. But I included it because it's super interesting. Super interesting. And it's also interesting that they, um, they use it to teach certain courses. And someone said it's CS50. Computer Science 50, and you can take that class online for free. So, very interesting. If you guys are interested in that sort of thing. Um, so that is the Civilization glitch. Okay. The next one. Very, very famous. It's very, very famous, you guys. Everyone knows about this? I think. It went around on the schoolyards. And I had to include it because... Because... I was one of the cool kids, you know. Oh, I wasn't one of the... Okay, let me... I was one of the cool kids who knew how to perform this glitch. So, for that... For this one... For this one little slice of history... People came to me and were like, Ami, I need you to help me with this glitch. And I was like, my time has come. My time has come as a gamer. And then... And then once... The, and then once people stopped caring about this game... I became not cool again. <laughs> I became not cool again, but then... But then... For that one moment... <laughs> for that one moment... I was a cool kid, because I knew about video games. Okay. Missing no. But now I'm cool again, exactly! Yeah, finally! <laughs> And for the first time today, I actually learned how to try and uh, I, I actually learned how this um, this glitch kind of works for the first time today. So that's pretty cool. I never actually knew why it worked when I was a kid. I just you know, it just kind of happened. Uh, so I don't think I need to explain Pokemon to you guys, uh, but it's Pokemon. Okay, you you go around, you catch battle Pokemon, you um. You battle them, you battle with trainers, you battle gym leaders, you get badges, and then you make your way to the Elite Four to become the Pokemon Master. And you also defeat, um, Team Rocket villains along the way. What is a Pokermans? I don't know. Some, something that the kids are in, the Pokemans. The kids are into this? I don't know. The kids keep talking about Pokemans and trading cards. Did anyone have Pokemon cards, uh, you know, like, banned from their school? <laughs> At one point in my school, I was like, you cannot bring Pokemon cards to school anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Pokemon Gem 1? 
Great games. Gen 2? Great games also. Gen 3? Cool game. <laughs> Pokemans? Yeah, that would never catch on. That would never catch on. Just Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, oh it happened with yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. It happened with Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Uh, Kat, thank you for the donation. Um, do you remember which two level 100 plus Pokemon you found with the glitch after effects? Mine was Oma Star and Beedrill. Uh, no, no, I don't remember any of that stuff. I just remember how to do it and duplicating my rare candy. Nowadays, it's you can't do Pokemon Go on school grounds? Really? They don't let you do that? Man. I mean, if it's recess, it's fine, right? <laughs> or not recess, but you know, if it's like a lunch break or whatever, I feel like it should be fine. Anyway. So, yeah, this is Pokemon. And this is a very well-known glitch. You guys probably aren't all know about it. Um, so, I just wanted to include it because... I wanted to tell that little anecdote, you know, from 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 my youth about being cool. <laughs> um, but it's a very well known glitch in the first gen games. You probably attempted it if you play when the game played these games when they came out. And it's one of those things, like I said, that made its way, you know, around the schoolyard. And if you knew how to do it, you had major cool people gamer points. Um. So, and then missing no, as you can probably guess, stands for missing number, and he is represented by this, this, you know, mess of, uh, pixels here. Your brother dressed up as a Yu-Gi-Oh card for Halloween and walked in the principal's office to turn himself in. Your brother is such a, not, your brother is such a bad meow, Jason. <laughs> That's funny. I'm so cool. No, I'm cool again now. Okay. Uh, so... It'll also result in your sixth item being duplicated. The sixth item slot in your in your backpack. It'll result in that being duplicated. So it's a way to it's a way to um you know it's a way to 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 get basically infinite of any item you want. And then you can break the game and you can win the game and you can become the Pokemon Master by chotting. Uh, so, it's very good for certain items, like rare candy. I always like to use it with rare candy, okay? Because I want to level up my Pokemon to be really, really, really high level. So, I only have to train the first one in my party. So, I don't have to switch out my Pokemon. Because <laughs> I only train my starter because I like to brute force things. Okay, that's how I play Pokemon. <laughs> and then to activate it, what you have to do is you have to fly to Viridian City. And you know how there's been a, there's a guy? There's a guy there, he's an old man. And he's like, I'm going to teach you how to, I'm going to teach you how to catch Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how to catch a Pokemon. And then, and then, what happens is he teaches you. He he does a little demo. He teaches you how to catch a Pokemon. Okay. Uh, no, it's not an old man on the roof of Cinnabar Gym. No, 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 no. I was one of those, of course. I'm a chatter, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so he's like, I'll teach you how to catch this Pokemon. Uh, here you have to throw the Pokeball, and then you have to select blah 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 blah. How old is this game? I don't know. When did this game... When did Pokemon Blue, uh, Red and Blue come out? I mean, it's pretty old. It's the first Pokemon game, so... Hi, Jeepus! And hello, John Zero! <clears throat> um... So, after you watch the demo, you have to immediately fly to Cinnabar Island, and you have to search along the edge of the water. 96? Okay, okay. That sounds correct. That sounds correct. Um... Um... So you, you kind of swim along this little strip. You know you know how there is... I don't have a picture of it, but you know how uh, in that game, the barrier to um, the water in the land, there's like a little... There's like a little... A darker like strip of land. You have to swim along that thing. And then if you do it, you will encounter the missing no Pokemon. Okay. And then you have to defeat it. And then when you defeat missing no... The item in your sixth slot is gonna be duplicated. And wow, cool, wow! You can see it's like glitched out. The mas They have the master ball in that slot. You can see how glitched out it is. Swim on the east coast, yeah. Surf along the... I mean, it's not a dock. It's just like the edge of the, the water, you know. North America, 98. EU, 99. Oh. I wonder where 96 is coming from. Oh, th that's for the, J the Japanese versions. That makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so... So, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Um, so, uh, it's, it's, the missing no is a Pokemon that the game makes you encounter. 
if it doesn't have a number value for which Pokemon is supposed to appear. So each Pokemon in the game has a, a number value inside of the game. And whenever a Pokemon is supposed to appear, it'll point to that number value and it'll be like, okay, this is this is Pokemon gonna, gonna show up. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, when you speak to the old man, what happens is uh, they programmed it so that in order to show you this demo, you temporarily become the old man, okay? You temporarily become the old man, so it, um... It changes your name to, you know, old man, temporarily. So it can show the first-person perspective of, uh, catching a Pokemon. Um, with the old name there. So that's how they, that's how they do it. They just, it's just the regular battle scene, and then they change the one sprite. And then they change your player name, temporarily. Um, and that's still stored in like the the memory you know when you after you fly to cinnabar island and surf on the little part so the game because of the values that are in the word old man um well well first i should explain that pokemon spot pokemon showing up in general is um apparently somewhat determined by like what you make your name so because of his name and the specific sequence of um letters in it as you surf along this one specific spot, for whatever reason, they, they they didn't program it to know what value to throw at you during the battle. And then it results in the missing note glitch. So that's why it's missing note. Literally missing number, because they're not sure what number to put there. Um, uh, and as to why it duplicates your six item slot. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, the missing note's uh, Pokedex value. He actually does have a Pokedex value. Because it's, it's technically, you know... Counts as a Pokemon, I guess, but it's just like it's just like a way for the you know it's a it's a missing Pokemon because it's a missing number, but it still has a Pokedex value because of some reason the way the game is programmed. <laughs> and that value is the same value as the sixth item slot, which messes with things somehow and then glitches out the amount and it causes the value to jump to 128. So the game normally can't, you can't have more than 99 items. So because the game doesn't know how to display 128 because the, the number value is not more than two digits, um, it glitches out and looks like that and you get, um, I, I, I don't think it's infinite. I think you get 128 of the item. So, very, very interesting. I hope I explained it in a way that's okay to understand. I was able to, like, learn about it in a way that I could understand it myself. But I'm not really good at explaining these things. I'm not really good at explaining these things. So I hope it was okay to understand. Um... Mama. Becoming an old man something pretty familiar to most of chat. You guys, you guys. We love our... We love our, um... Um, Oji... Oji-sans. Uh, boomer transformation? Yeah, you temporarily transform into an old man. Let me watch Ami and become boomers. Hey, you don't become boomers. You guys are already boomers, okay? <laughs> uh, is there a way to keep the tutorial Pokemon? I don't think so. I don't think so. I thought it was to teach the youth the horrors of aging. <laughs> no, there's no horrors. There's no horrors. Actually, it's storing your name. Well, the fact that the, the fact that your name got switched is the thing that's being stored in the data. This is this is just what I read. This is just what I read. It could be wrong, could be wrong. Um, how did this cheat spread in the 90s, especially with less internet use? I think literally just word word of mouth, you know. Uh it was probably reported on in like magazines and some stuff like that, I would assume. Encountering missing note also lets you scroll past the bottom of your item bag, which lets you mess with uh, everything in the ram past it speedruns through amazing things with this. Oh cool. I don't know if I watched like a a, a glitched speedrun of Pokemon <clears throat> the first gen. You did the dupe all the time, it permanently worked your Hall of Fame. Oh no! <laughs> you would have freaky reoccurring dreams of creepy Pokemon glitches. I guess that can be dangerous. I guess that can be dangerous in that sense. It was online in like 99. True, but um, I mean, a lot of kids are not really gonna... Like, internet access wasn't super widespread at that time. And then even then, you'd have to know, like, where to look for it. Like, what site to visit and stuff. 
The Mew Under the Truck rumor are two of my favorite things in video games. Oh, the Mew Under the Truck is so funny. I talked about that before in my uh, Video Games Urban Legends stream, which I have done I have done a Video Games Urban Legends stream before you guys. I think there's a lot of newcomers today, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, uh, please check that out. You can probably just search it on my channel, uh, Video Game Urban Legends, and it should come up. That was a really fun stream. That was a really fun stream. Hi, Fake Grade! This is why game FAQs came into existence. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you use the school computer, yeah. I think I think my, my older um my older brother actually taught me about this glitch for the first time. Meow, 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 meow. It could also end up using other sprites and garbled names. They could have different stats and moves too. Yeah, so uh, missing no in particular, I think he had water gun twice, I think if I recall. These topical streams of yours are really cool and something and not something you see much with VTubers. I'm happy you guys like them. Um, I, um... If, if you guys ever have any ideas for me to do, like, a topic-oriented stream like this, you guys can always let me know. Um, I'm kind of running out of ideas myself, but I really want to do more because they're a lot of fun to research, so... Um, alright, let's move on to the next glitch, shall we? This is from... Spider-Man 2000. Spider-Man meowing dies. <laughs> Spider-Man meowing dies. A printer ran stream. Oh, I could definitely do a freaking printer, a stream just all about printers. <laughs> How can we let you know? Uh, if you ever have anything suggest to suggest, you can suggest it in the Discord suggestions channel, or you can do it on my schedule post on my YouTube community page, or just at me on Twitter if you use Twitter. So yeah, Spider-Man. This is from Spider-Man 2000. It's a PC game. Um, and I was debating whether this would fall under graphical or gameplay glitches. Um, since it's technically, it technically takes place during a cutscene. But it actually has consequences in the actual game itself. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, I put it... I put it here. I put it here. Because uh, I think it's closer to a gameplay glitch than it is to a graphical glitch. Uh, so this game is similar to a lot of Spider-Man games. Um... Uh, in, in that era at least. So what happens is Spider-Man has been... Spoiler alert! Spider-Man has been framed and he has to complete objectives or reach the end of each level um, by fighting and web slinging or doing certain objectives and stuff like that. Um, so yes. <laughs> so yes, that's a Spider-Man game. But there is one particular mission in the game where you kind of... You're like... You're like racing with Venom. You're like trying to race Venom to his like... um. His home, not his home page, his like, his like headquarters, I guess, or his lair. So you're trying to race him there and catch him. Um, it com combines gameplay with like a cutscene. There's like a cutscene that's intermittent. And, and the cutscene itself takes place uh, in engine, so it's not a pre rendered cutscene. Um, but it, it takes place like inside of the game. It's uh, uh, inside. Oh my god! So loud outside. Um, it takes place within the engine of the game. So it's basically just like the, the the game taking control of everything and just making them have their own actions for a moment. Give me one second. Okay, sorry, my 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 Discord was flashing for some reason. I had to make sure it wasn't something uh, emergent, but it's okay. Uh, so um, in the cutscenes one of these cutscenes, a glitch can occur where if you have a PC that is faster than what the game expects you to have, which actually happened very, very soon after this game was released, like a couple months. A couple months, a lot of people who ended up getting this game had a faster uh, PC than what the game expected you to have. So it causes Spider-Man to mistime this one jump at the end of the cutscene. And... Let's take a look. We don't know what happens to him. He might be okay. Or he might meow and die. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here is the cutscene becoming activated. So, you know, it's kind of a cool cutscene. Everything happens off screen. You're just seeing the building. But then there's a bunch of like comical stuff happening. You can tell by the audio. Look out, lady. Oh my goodness! Are you sure that's spoiled by the title? No, oh, sorry, lady. You don't know, he might not die. So then he just... 
<laughs> He's not supposed to, but he just falls to- Wait, was that a bucko? Did you guys see the bucko? Can you believe they stole bucko from me 22 years ago? It's a red bucko. Oh my god. 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 What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? This is the weirdest day ever. Can you believe they stole it from me? They went they went forward in time to 2022 to try and get ideas about what kind of little icon they would have on the screen and they stole it from my stream. They stole it from my stream. Oh my god. The simulation is it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. So yeah, anyway, uh what happens is um for whatever reason, the the latter part of the cutscene gets Despite messed up, and instead of following following uh, Venom in the jump like the cutscene is supposed to do, he he simply like walks off the building and falls to his death. My mouth just made a crazy noise. I apologize if you heard that. It went like. Come on. <laughs> Let's watch that again, shall we? Instant replay. I think this first part is also a glitch. Like, I don't think you're supposed to, like, land and crawl up the building. I think you're supposed to just end up in the window. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then, once again, we see Venom running by the window. And Spider-Man try- oh. So it's still gameplay. Well, like I said, like I said, it, I put it in gameplay because it it it's an in it's an in engine cutscene. So although most of it has to do with graphics, you do actually die as a result of it. You, like your character actually dies as a result of it. <laughs> yeah, I love when his I love how his voice cracks when he screams. <laughs> I remember that scream like it says. Oh, did a lot of you guys play this game? Rip, Spooter guy. For being very old cutscenes, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, a 2000 PC game? Yeah, it could look fine. Although this is probably played on a... Recorded on a newer PC, so it probably looks as best as it possibly can, you know. It was weird how you put it on the... Put you on the side of that hole. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. I think... I think that's not supposed to happen. But because of the speed that they assumed your computer would be. I think it was on PS1. I was just thinking that because I remember playing a game very similar to this. And that was on PlayStation 1, but I didn't want to say that it was the same game because I don't really I don't really remember. I never got very far in it. Let me look it up actually. <clears throat> Does the death break the game? No, you just die. And there's no way to get past it though, I'm pretty sure, unless you use like a level select code. Yeah, yeah, this is a Spider-Man game I had. Uh, but I don't think I ever got past, like, the first level. <laughs> That's definitely the one I had. I think I had, like... Mm, greatest Hits one, maybe? Yeah, I think I had the, gr the green, like, the green Greatest Hits one. Interestingly enough, the thing that made me remember was the, like, the green of the... <laughs> like, the cover of the game, rather than, you know, the actual gameplay itself. But swinging on webs was fun, I think. There's a number of games where tampering with the speed of the game allows you to kind of break certain boundaries the game sets. Yeah, this is one of them. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, remember kid mode voiceover and putting eel mats as a code to unlock everything. What is that supposed to be? Oh, Stanley backwards! <gasps> oh my god! It makes the game unwinnable. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I wonder if this caused the game to be reviewed poorly. Um, I mean, probably the initial reviews probably would have been fine because, uh, um, more people probably had a, um, a PC that kind of matched up with the exact specs that they, uh, that they, that they assumed your PC would have when you're playing this game. But then as time went on, I think more people started experiencing the glitch. That's my understanding. That's my understanding. Hello, Jacob! You're sad? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, please, please, um, hang out and enjoy the stream and try and take your mind off things. It's gonna be, you're gonna have some, some funny clips, uh, coming forward, so. 
Did I put big rings? I didn't put big rings because it's just like... It's like kind of... That whole game is like a glitch. <laughs> and I tried to kind of focus more on games that, you know... People would be kind of familiar with. And I feel like people are only familiar with big rings because it's like... Notoriously glitchy and not because people have played it, you know what I mean? Uh, I wonder what would happen if I play on my modern PC. You probably wouldn't be able to beat it. But I probably wouldn't even play on your modern PC. Can you ask me something? Uh, you can absolutely ask me something. I can't guarantee that I will be able to answer it, but sure. Yeah, it's a glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, exactly. If a game is bad enough, is it one giant glitch? I think that game is one giant glitch, yeah. I think it is. Maybe you can make it, you know, you can probably configure a virtual machine exactly correctly to make, um... To make it run as in, to make this game run as intended, I would think. I don't know, though. Big rig is art? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's intended to be art, but maybe, maybe. Some older PC games had their physics and such tied to frames per second. Q, 200 plus FPS capable computers and shenanigans ensue. Exactly. Yeah, you might be able to lock your frame rate. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Good thing they learned from this mistake, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are bouncy castles? Uh, that's kind of a random question. I mean... I just Google that one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to explain that better than Google. <laughs> um, what's the secret to my cuteness? It's all the love filled in my heart for you guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, we have a couple more left. This next one's pretty funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's like, it's like pretty crazy. I am sappy. Okay, what do you want from me? <laughs> Many people are saying this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Rejuvenating buckle juice? What the heck is that? No, it's not that. It's my heart being filled with love, okay? <laughs> Alright, I have to readjust my seat. Hold on. You can't take this. Well, take it, take it, take it. You have to. <laughs> take it. Uh, okay. Let's go on to the next one. So this one... is an example of a game... That supposedly... Actually messes with... The physical game itself. Very strange, very strange. So, I couldn't find an actual picture. This is an Xbox game. I couldn't find an actual picture of the supposed <clears throat> issues that this causes with the disc. But the game is, um, Secret Agent Clank. And I think it's, it's, um... It's, it's a port of a, of a PSP game. So they ported it to PS2. And it's a platformer game and it stars uh, Clank from Ratchet and Clank. Um, <clears throat> where he has like a bunch of James Bond-esque, you know, um, gadgets and stuff. And he uses it to traverse through the levels. And it features um, some quick time events as well in the game. And there is a game breaking, a literal game breaking glitch, glitch in this game that corrupts the save data before it can finish saving. And it is a rare glitch, so they probably wouldn't have been able to foresee it um, in the you know developing process. Apparently, it is very very rare, but it does happen. Um, and it only happens on the PS2 Slim, not the regular old fashioned PS2, but the Slim model. And it not only corrupts your save, but it creates a giant circular scratch in the disc. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. But it, it renders the uh, disc unusable. It renders the disc unusable. That's an Xbox DVD? Like I said, like I said, I, I couldn't find a picture of the actual disc itself. So I just found one with what I assume is a similar looking, similar looking scratch in it. And yeah, this is specifically on the PS2 Slims. So this is the only glitch that I found that I came across. Aside from like cartridge yeah, tilting and stuff, yeah. which is messing with hardware to begin with. That actually hurts, hurts your game. <laughs> Hello, Shot John. Um, Kat, thanks for the super chat. Came back to AmiCube. So AmiCube, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
The scratch on the disc is a feature by Secret Agent Clank himself. He's like, yes, this message will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. And then it, it self-destructs. Um, you guys, I really have to take a back bathroom break, okay? Consumed a lot of caffeine. <laughs> Can you guys be glitches while I'm gone? I will be right back, okay? Apologies for the wait. I also had to turn on my AC, so I'm uh, uh, apologies for any noise. Um, Shrike, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. I very much appreciate that, and I'm sure uh, everyone who got a membership appreciates that as well. Please say thank you to Shrike, and if you are, um, if you're too shy to say thank you, I will say thank you for you. On uh. <laughs> I'm not supposed to just count. I'm supposed to say I'm supposed to say thank you five times. I'm not supposed to just count the five. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I wash my hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Okay. Um. So that's basically the only part of the uh of this game with a with a glitch. Sorry, that, that's not that's not what I meant to say. It's not the only part of this game with a glitch. It could have many more glitches, but that's the only that's the only thing about this game I wanted to say. It's kind of a short explanation, but um, um, my words are all jumbled up now. <laughs> 
Um, 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 oh god, is this, is this what the energy drink is doing to me? Oh, yeah, but I wanted to show it because it was the only example I could find of something that, like, actually messes with your game. Without you, like, messing with the game yourself first. You know, it's just being innocent. You're just being totally innocent and minding your own business. And then this freaking save file corrupts and, and it's over. It's over. Spider brain overload. Yeah, my brain is glitchy. PS2 Slims had a problem where the lens ribbon cable stopped it holding its position and scratched discs. So I did, I did read about that. But I, I think this is actually its own thing. I think this is, might be its own thing. And the reason I say that is because... Um, I found a lot of people talking about this and one other Ratchet and Clank game specifically. So, yeah, RIP save. It corrupts the save, so... You hope they issued refunds? I mean... Probably not. I would kind of doubt it. I, I, would, I would think if you, like... Took it to the store, like if you got it from Walmart or whatever, and you showed them the disc, and we're like, you know, because obviously, you wouldn't really be able to like cause this kind of issue on your own, you know. It, it's not like a, it's not like a scratch where you like you drop it on the pavement, and you know it gets all scratched up. It's the kind of scratch that is clearly done with like caused by like some kind of hardware issue. So I would assume you could either I don't know maybe bring that to the store or bring your PlayStation Two to the store. Missing no could corrupt saves as well, yeah. But I don't think it, like, bricked your actual game. <laughs> I don't think it bricked your actual game, though. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next glitch. Which is... Game-breaking in a different way. It doesn't it doesn't mess with the physical disc. Uh, but it is somewhat game-breaking, so let's take a look. Uh, it's from Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Related to the online messaging function that the game had, um, there's not really any pictures that can show this glitch. So I just put, um... Shrek. <laughs> I just put Shrek, because he's in the game, and I think that's awesome, because I love Shrek. Yeah, fair, right? It's fair. <laughs> it all comes back to Shrek. Somebody has told me the world is gonna roll me. Shrek skateboarding, he's cool, it's cool, right? Uh, and you can play as... I think you can also play as, like, Benjamin Franklin in that game. <laughs> Do you guys know that one? Shrek saxophone. He's, like, Shrek playing a saxophone and he plays... <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are going crazy today! Thank you so much, Sumptuous Potato, for the five gifted buckle memberships! Thank you! Um... Please say thank you to Sumptuous Potato if you've been gifted a membership. And if you're too shy to say thank you, or if you're maybe Amina, not here yeah, at the moment, you're yeah. AFK, I will say thank you for you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sumptuous Potato! More buckles in the chat, more buckles in the chat! You guys are crazy today, you guys are crazy today. Thank you! Um, Swamp Celebrity Shrek shredding stylishly on a silly skateboard in some sort of city. Yeah, how is he handling being away from the swamp, you know? Thousands of buckles! Buckles take over the world! Infinite buckle glitch! <laughs> it really is like an infinite buckle glitch, you know? <laughs> yeah, now you guys are stronger. Now you guys are like a whole army again today. <laughs> um, make sure you guys, uh, if you were gifted a membership, make sure you guys come to the membership stream today. Oh my goodness! Kat, thank you so much for the buckle. Uh, the five gifted memberships. You guys are going crazy. You guys are going crazy! <laughs> Please say thank you to Kat if you received a membership from Kat. And if you can't say thank you because you're shy. I will say it for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Kat. Um, oh, true. There is a New Orleans level. So that is kind of like... Well, it has like marshes, right? Or it has um bayous, right? That's kind of like... That's kind of swamp-esque, I think. So yeah, I, I really like this game, by the way. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. <clears throat> I love it very much. Um, you are an amateur, like, skateboarder, Amina, skater, yeah. and you, um, you get taken on a world tour by, uh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> you get taken on a world tour by Tony Hawk and Bam Margera to, Amina, like, yeah. make a video, I guess, make, like, a movie about skating and, like, some other wacky stunts, like, you know, in a, in a jackass-esque style at some times and then sometimes it's just about skating like you're just skating and then sometimes you're like vandalizing stuff or whatever so uh very interesting 
very interesting, very fun game. I really like it a lot, but it takes you to places like Berlin and Australia and New Orleans and um, I mean, yeah. a lot of different places, a lot of different places. Uh, it's like a world tour. It's a world tour. Oh, uh, Barcelona as well, I think. I think that's another one of the places. Amiya Aranya. Spyro the Dragon had skateboarding segments. The skateboarding segments on Spyro the Dragon are actually really fun. I actually really, really like them. Eric from the first game had an accident due to being scared out of his mind. And it, yeah, yeah, true. Eric from the first game did. He peed himself and it was funny because, you know, you're like, haha, screw you, Eric. You sucked. He really sucked in that first game. He's really evil. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and great music in these games too. That's true, Espers. My friend would play so much Tony Hawk, eventually his family took his console and hid it from him. Oh my god. I play a lot of it too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but my family didn't take it from me. They were probably just like, she's happy, just let her be, you know. Just let her do her thing, she's happy. Uh, what time is it? Just making sure I'm still gonna be okay for the membership uh, stream timing later. Pim Margera hacked the story and gave us a jackass game with Tony Hawk. Exactly, exactly. Um, but you know, cool game. Uh, any chances we're getting a skateboarding game stream? I would like to play one of the Tony Hawk games at some point. Spyro is the last you would expect to have good skateboarding, but it works! It works! And there's like cool tricks and stuff. Yeah. Um... So... To the glitch itself, I'm gonna I'm done gushing about the game. This pick goes hard. It's awesome, right? It's awesome. Um, so Tony Hawk's Underground 2 introduced uh, uh, an online feature where you would be able to send messages to, to other players. I guess if they're on your friends list, or I don't really know how that sort of thing works on like um. Um, I assume it was PlayStation 2. So I don't know how that sort of thing worked. Um, but anyway, you can send messages to people. So usually any kind of text input in the Tony Hawk's Underground games, they're done with use of like an online, uh, uh, sorry, an on-screen keyboard. <clears throat> so your controller would act as a, you know, the, the way, the, the way to, uh, navigate the keyboard and type in the letters and that, uh, online keyboard or uh, on-screen keyboard enacts a character limit. But, for whatever reason, if you had a, um... A USB keyboard plugged in... To your PlayStation uh, 2... You could actually input more characters... Than the game would allow. So... Um... Or the game... Then the game was able to display. <clears throat> and then, you could send those, mes uh, those messages to people. Send it to another player, and if it had too many characters, it would crash their game. And the game would be rendered unplayable. Um, and then they even had to take online play off for a period uh, of time. So they eventually fixed the glitch. But the most interesting part of this glitch... Is that... <clears throat> you don't even have to open the message. You don't even have to open the message from your friend or whatever. You just have to have received the message. <laughs> so if you're online and you receive the message... It crashes, it crashes the game, and then, and then you can't open the, the, you know, you can't open the freaking thing. They put the limit on the on-screen keyboard and not the actual text field. That's my assumption, yeah. Yeah, so you can really goof, you can really goof people's games up, you guys, and, um, people did. People really took advantage of it and, like, just purposefully messed with people's games. <laughs> If you're gonna rage quit, might as well take everyone with you. No, no, no way. Don't mess it for the mess with it for other people. The substance version of Metal Gear Solid 2 had skateboarding mini game, and it was the sub substance version. <clears throat> so it's a bug in the messenger as opposed to the game. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess that's technically true. Yeah. The extra characters probably overwrote something important. That's possible. That's possible. Yeah, I couldn't figure out exactly how this one supposedly worked. And you know, since it was a, it's a, it's a thing that happened a long time ago with like the online function. It's not something that people can um, duplicate nowadays, especially since they fixed it. Even if you, even if you could like somehow go online with your PlayStation Two, and and somehow get someone else to like send you a message, it would have been fixed anyway. 
This was the version that came out on PC. It's abandoned. It's not abandoned where? No, there's no way, right? It's not abandoned where? But of course, you know, I would purchase I would purchase legally a CD copy and play it that way. You know, of course. <laughs> of course. Early online stuff in games is almost impossible to research today. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I remember the PS2 had particular... In particular had a... Um, the, the attachment was an online... Um, it, it was like a, a, a box that you like attach to the back of your, your... It was like a separate attachment. That's all I know. And you had to buy it. Um... Why is Shrek skateboarding? Because we're talking about the game Tony Hawk's Underground 2. And Shrek is in that game as a special unlockable character. <laughs> because I guess... Is that the time Shrek came out? I guess it must have been. Or at least one of the Shrek movies. Yeah, it was a modem. It was a big brick modem that you had to attach to the back of your, your PlayStation 2. And uh... Yeah, that was... It was weird. Weird times. Weird times. <laughs> anyway, so that is the Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Uh, game destroying... Game destroying glitch. Game destroying online play glitch. That was later fixed. It was later fixed. <clears throat> Alright, so next we have... Probably another another one that a lot of people have heard of. Another infamous uh, game glitch. That I'm sure a lot of you have... Not probably personally dealt with. Because I don't know that a ton of people bothered with this game. But you've probably seen it mentioned somewhere. <clears throat> So this is the Sonic Boom Infinite Jump. The Knuckles, specifically Knuckles, Infinite Jump. A stream on lost games? You mean like games that were never released? That is actually a really good idea. Uh, so yeah, the game is Sonic Boom, The Rise of Lyric. And you never heard of this one? Oh, this one's super famous. It's like used in all the speed runs. Uh, so first of all, I have a little... I have a little rant, okay? Can I... Can, will you allow me to do my little rant? It's not necessarily a, a rant about the game or about Sonic. But... How... Dare... How dare they mess with every person who types the words Sonic Boom into a search engine. Hoping to find... The clearly superior... Uh, you know, Sonic CD opening cartoon cutscene with the song Sonic Boom Entitled Sonic Boom that everyone wants to hear Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom Like yeah, it's a clever name for a Sonic game because it's Sonic Boom Sonic And I'm surprised it hadn't been used until, you know, when this game came out a couple years ago But like, if I type Sonic Boom, obviously I'm looking for the freaking, the freaking song with the cutscene Okay, that's obviously what I'm looking for I wanted the Sonic CD song, dang it! Sonic CD OP also works? No, 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 no. They can't mess with my... They can't mess with my search engine terms. This is illegal. Okay, that's the biggest offense that this game did. Anyway, uh, it's an adventure game. <laughs> it's a Sonic adventure game. I think it's pretty similar to, like, in, in gameplay to most of the Sonic games. But, um... It, it's, it's like they attempted to, like, reboot the kind of, like, Sonic... Universe. I'm not a Sonic Boomer. <laughs> I'm not a Sonic Boomer. Shut up. Uh, don't you hate it when you're searching for Sonic music but accidentally find aeronautics research? Yes, that happens constantly. Sonic Boom and it was the US only? Yeah, the Japanese one was Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. <laughs> Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I'm getting excited because of Sonic. <laughs> um, so yeah, this this game was like an attempt to um, kind of reboot the Sonic universe and some of the character traits. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, Magik, see you. Have a great night. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Uh, and you have to... I mean, you have to, like, defeat a snake. He's like a snake demon spirit dude. His name's Lyric. And, of course, Metal Sonic and Eggman are there too. And then... Uh, Sonic... Sonic meowing dies. And I will show you guys that. We get to see Sonic meowing die.
So yeah, Sonic dies. Uh, like in the first in the first cutscene of the game, Sonic Sonic is literally uh, literally dies. So there's that of the game, and then also um, there there is um, a TV show based on this game, based on the universe of this game. And you guys, I gotta say, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It's kind of a good show. <laughs> it's kind of a good show. It's kind of funny. I do actually like it. The writing is actually pretty dang good. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. I would recommend... And, and they're really short, you know? Just watch a... Watch like a... Watch just one. They're really, really short. And you'll see what I mean. The, 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 it, it's actually, it's actually pretty funny. Not something I would like watch in its entirety, but it's a fun watch. It is. It's a fun watch. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry to disappoint you in this way. But, <laughs> I gotta say it. I gotta give credit where credit is due. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't not. Um, Anyway, this game, this glitch is, um, specifically with Sanic, specifically with, uh, or, sorry, not Sanic, specifically with Knuckles. It specifically occurs with Knuckles, and he, um, a glitch occurs where if you're mid-jump, and you press the pause button, and you unpause, the, it, you'll, you'll, like, restart your jumping animation, and it allows you to jump infinitely, which caused it so that, uh, you know, speedrunners are able to complete the game really, really quickly. Uh, yeah, Red Sonic, Red Sonic, exactly. <laughs> speedrunners are able to, uh, complete the game super, super quickly because of this glitch, uh, uh, and I think it was discovered pretty early, pretty early on. Uh, but one of the writers for the show said, uh, on Twitter, a tweet that is now deleted. Now deleted, by the way. They're trying to cover it up. They're trying to cover it up. The conspiracy. Okay, but the tweet was later deleted. But he did say, no more complaining about the Knuckles jump glitch in Rise of Lyric because we just made it canon. Okay. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide it from us. It's a cover up. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. But it's now deleted, so... Make, 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 make of that information what you will. <clears throat> Make of that information what you will, you guys. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say it's a conspiracy, but, um... They're trying to cover up that it's canon. But, but you didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me. Uh, alright, let's watch a video of the glitch, okay? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Did I say this? It busted speedruns wide open. I think I said this, but it busted the speedrun wide open. Why does it happen? I don't really know. The game is notoriously glitchy. There's just like a lot of things wrong with that game. So you can you can use this glitch to like access parts of the level you can't normally access and go behind elements of the environment and stuff. Um, and apparently when someone was playing this game on Twitch, uh, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Twitch channel showed up in the chat and called it the, the tax evasion glitch. So I guess, I guess Knuckles is like doing tax evasion. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <clears throat> it's just a bad game. I, I'm sure it could be fine if it, well, I mean, I don't know. I've never played it and I don't know a ton about it. Other than, you know, the TV show and stuff and this glitch. So, let's watch this. Yeah, he learned from, he learned from Yoshi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knuckles the tax evader. All right. Let's watch the video, shall we? Of the glitch in action. From Darkspine Sonic. Thank you, Darkspine. I like I like how both of these videos, these people, these channels that I got these videos from, they both say <laughs> they both just have Sonic in their channel names. Now that's dedication. Maybe I should change my my, my channel name to Amiya Sonic Aranya. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Looks like we have a fight, Knuckles. <laughs> Alright. Bye bye. Creepy and here we go. This dick he just keep it's getting better. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I didn't feel that. Look at him go. He's flying. He's flying. He's beginning to believe. I think he started believing. Dark Dark Spine Sonic does a lot of speed runs. Yeah, this this is from a speed run video specifically. My planet needs me. <laughs> Duke 3D. It looks cool. I've never um, personally played it. 
I like when the menu goes boing, and then he just, you know, you just gotta keep doing that, and then this happens. And then everyone's everyone's t posing here. <laughs> I didn't actually see this part when I first watched the video. I didn't go this far, but yeah, there's just everyone. I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> yeah, can we get some capital T's in chat for the T-posing everyone in Sonic? And now... <laughs> and now the glitch occurs again. It starts over. And we are um, going to a uh, new part of the level. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the T's, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Hold on. This kind of... I Again, I don't know how it works, but it kind of reminds me of the one glitch in Mega Man 2 where if you... Or I don't know if it's a glitch, but anyway, when when you pause, your action, like, gets restarted. Or... or I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that glitch works either. Peen, hi! Oh, Mia. Thank you for coming. Hey, we made it all the way around to this room. Hey, we made it all the way around to this room. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine making it all the way around to that room after freaking just like flying. <laughs> after just flying, imagine. Anyway, that was the um. That's the glitch in Mega Man One. Oh my apologies. Uh, it only applies to Knuckles. Yeah, as far as I know, because he does. He has like a higher jump in general, so I think his jump is like different from the other characters. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little yawny. Um, we're almost through the presentation, though. Just gotta keep an eye on the time. Okay, we still got time, we still got time. Um. Okay, the next one. Another very notorious one that a lot of you guys probably know about. And this one's hilarious, and it has, it has a lot of, uh... There's a lot of different examples and variations of it. Yanni, you mean Laurel? <laughs> Laurel. Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. I wish I could do that with my own voice. Just have like a double voice and do the glitch. <laughs> so yeah, this is from Grand Theft Auto 4. So I feel like a lot of people are familiar with this game, but it's like a... It's like a... You can explore... It's 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 open world and you just... You can explore uh, Liberty City pretty freely. And you're a European war veteran that comes to... Um, Comes to Liberty City, and then you get involved with some mobsters, and I mean, it is GTA, so it's like... It's like... I don't know, you, you shoot people with guns, and then you run around, and then you do crimes and do missions, and you get involved with bad guys. Apparently you go bowling, someone says. You do a lot of bowling, someone says. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I've never played this game, but uh, I've only really played Vice City myself, but I assume they're very similar types of games, you know. You should try some GTA 1 or 2. Oh, I actually played GTA... I, I played the first GTA, but that's like very, very, very different. <clears throat> very, very different. Just a regular Ami day? No. No. Uh, anyway, so this is very notorious, and it's a pretty fun, uh, simple physics glitch that I think most people would be able to do. And uh, there is a specific playground you can go to, and there is a swing set. And if your car... Um, collides with this swing set in just the right way. It will send you flying across the city where you... you miraculously don't always explode instantly. You don't always explode instantly on impact somehow miraculously, but a lot of the time you do. Or you get flung from the car and you get like flung across the freaking city. And then... I remember a, simu a similar thing that occurred in a game called uh, ATV Off of Fury. Yeah, the first GTA was top down, yeah. Um, in, in the ATV Off-Road Fury games, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or just something they made happen, but, um, the levels were really open, but then there was, like, an invisible wall <clears throat> at the, um, at the, at the perimeters of the level. And you would, um, you would get flung into the air and away, uh, in the opposite direction. So, it just reminds me of that in the way it looks. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, you get sent to space, exactly. You're going to need to take this to the shop. Okay, so I thought this one was the funniest because it shoots fire like a rocket. <laughs> GTA 2 was also top down, yeah. And then. Ow! 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 That 
that would definitely, that would definitely oh, kill you. <laughs> You're gonna need to take this to the shop, she says. <laughs> I know this is very, like, um... This humor is very, like... What's the word for it? It's like, it's like lowbrow, like, physical comedy, you know? But I just find it so funny. <laughs> Especially... <laughs> like, it's so fast and sudden, and then the way they scream... Slapstick, that's the word, yeah. It's, like, very slapstick. But it's just so funny to me, he's still... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just very slapstick. It's kind of stupid, but... <laughs> Why would you do that on your nice car? Wasted. Cousin, why don't we go... Okay, is there some bowl... There must be some bowling game related to this game. I don't actually know. Everyone's mentioning bowling. What is, what is with the bowling? <laughs> what is with the bowling? Oh! Jeez. That one scared me more for some reason because... I don't know. That was not the car I was expecting to launch. <laughs> anyway, anyway. We can stop on <laughs> So we can stop watching it. Ami, what? Ami, what? Ami, what? Okay, it's funny. <laughs> this was like getting randomly punted by a giant in Skyrim. Sure, sure. Yeah, the playground is not safe. Do not go there. Nico's cousin calls you all the time to go bowling. <laughs> oh my god, I want to play that game and just bowl. I want to just bowl and do nothing else. <laughs> Okay, I need a freaking drink of water. <clears throat> Man, these streams always involve so much talking, and I always get, like, so excited about it that, um... My throat always gets, like, swam out in the process. And I have another I remember stream later. Oh! <laughs> okay. This is the... The next one is the last glitch, okay? The last glitch. Warning! 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 Whoop, whoop, whoop! Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee Spoilers for heavy rain. Heavy rain spoiler alert. <laughs> Everyone already knows. Everyone already knows. Uh, the heavy, heavy rain spoiler alert. Um... I don't know why I'm giving a spoiler alert for this one in particular. Probably because I saw some... Uh, of YouTubers play this game kind of recently, I think. So... Uh, maybe some people haven't played it yet. I don't know. I don't know. Good thing you already played it. Yeah, you can watch. You can watch. Uh, so this is a very, uh, notorious glitch and it's very, very funny. You guys are gonna really like this one. If you haven't seen it, I, a lot of you have. I can already tell from all the, from all the Sean spamming that's going on. But I had to include it because I, it made me laugh my freaking butt off the first time I saw it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. So... Uh, from my understanding of Heavy Rain, I've never played it. But it's mostly a game where, um... <clears throat> uh, Ren, you're see, thank you for coming. Uh, it's mostly... It, it's a game that's mostly cinematics, and then... And then the actual gameplay is, like... You have to react to quick time events to, to progress the game. Uh, that's my understanding, okay, of the game. But correct me if I'm wrong. But one of the... In one of the cinematic scenes of the game, <clears throat> the, um... The characters... Sun gets shwammoed somehow. And what I assume can only be um, the climax of the game. Uh, and then a prompt indicating that you can press X to yell Sean shows up. So, you know, press X to, to pay respects, you know. It's a crystal game. Oh, is it actually? <laughs> oh, I thought people liked it. I thought people liked it. It's not a good game. It's only good as a joke. Oh my god. I thought people liked it. I, I don't know anything about it. This is chat's words, not mine. Chat's words, not mine. If you like the game, that's okay, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so he gets swam on somehow, and then the prompt shows up throughout this... The, the, the Yell Sean quick time, um, event shows up. You like Heavy Rain? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay to like it. It's okay to like it. Some people probably... My guess is that some people aren't into the kind of cinematic, like, quick time event type of thing. You're totally valid if you like Heavy Rain. I think, I think. I don't know anything about it though, so I can't... <laughs> I can't really say anything, okay. Um... I only know about this one glitch and it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Uh, so for, for whatever reason in this particular part of the game, the, the yell Sean prompt, it just like stays there. Uh, and you're able to keep pressing the button throughout the entirety of the, uh... 
cutscene slash event. Um, and it kind of turns it into a kind of story where the character seems like he's like very, very, very traumatized intensely and unable to cope with the situation and what happened with his son. But we have to, we have to watch for you to see it because it's, it's best explained by just watching and it's hilarious. So this is the part where I think it's normal for you to be yelling Sean at this part. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. Also, what is with the audio? You can barely hear him saying Sean and then and then the and then the I hope it's not too late is like super loud. Cat, thank you for the super chat! Sean! <laughs> Keep saying Sean. Just keep saying Sean. It's based on distance. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sean. Sean. Not Sean. And he's like, okay, it's still making sense. It's a little excessive, but it is still making sense. Cause you know, he's watching his son Gishway mode, you know. <laughs> so it's still I feel like it still fits at this point. <clears throat> okay, and now I feel like he shouldn't be just like yelling in his kid's face who just woke up. <laughs> now 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 I feel like he just shouldn't be like screaming in his son's face. I feel like it should be ending by now. <laughs> But, you know, maybe if you're traumatized enough, maybe that's something that could happen. But then... <laughs> it's like, it's all you can say. I can prove your innocence. Congratulations, Ethan. You succeed. And now is the part where it no longer makes any sense whatsoever for him to be just yelling Sean. <laughs> Akatsuki, thank you for the super chat. Sean also, I mean, love. Sean, thank you. <laughs> Sean. I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm afraid Sean is not possible. I'm sorry. Sean is okay now. He's okay now. You don't have to. Spoilers! Probably. Oh, who got shot? We don't know. Oh no, it was Sean. Wait, no, he's there, not Sean. <laughs> it, it interrupts the entirety of his dialogue. It interrupts. <laughs> Is he a Pokemon? No, Pokemon say their own name. He's saying his like son's name. <laughs> he's just repeating his son's name over and over. Uh oh. Sean, you good? <laughs> Stop yelling at him! Anyway, I think that's pretty much the extent of it, but we'll watch it to the end because it's almost almost over. Oh, his tongue looked kind of gross. It looked like really white. The heck? Sean! <laughs> so yeah, that part is not supposed to happen like that. It's supposed to be, um... More dramatic, more emotional? I'm assuming. I'm assuming. <laughs> Sean! So, yeah, that is a very funny glitch. A good one to end it on, I think. I think. Uh, but, but, hold on. But, but, but. Hold on, hold on. That does it. That does it for today's presentation. There's a funny thing you can do when Ethan shows up later. <clears throat> um. And you can tell when he teleports into the scene because Sean gets a lot louder as it happens. Sean! <laughs> um, yeah, I thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Street Fighter 2 had a bug where if you hit some attacks in rapid succession, you could hit your opponent again before their flinch animation finished. Many exploited it, but it was never corrected in future versions. Oh yeah, I, I read about that one as I was reading about stuff today. Didn't it come across... Um, people came across that and then that was like... Uh, the birth of the the combo in fighting games, but I don't actually know if that's true. 
I don't actually know if that's true. That's just what someone said when I was doing research. Um, very interesting, if so. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like that that presentation. I know, I think it was a little bit shorter in terms of like actual, the actual content that is included um, than my normal presentations, but this is a bit of a hard one to research for. <clears throat> So I hope it was I hope it was still fun for you guys and that you you learned something or you, at least you know if you play these games you had a fun time um kind of kind of um, going through and 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 reliving some of these uh, glitches. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Hi guys. <laughs> hi guys. Hi guys. It is interesting. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me reconfigure here. Hold on. Before he ended off for the night. Okay, here we go. Hi, I still feel that monster energy. Um, not so much. I don't think. I think I'm. I think I've come. I've come down from the monster energy. Um. Um. What what can we call this event? The hop the hoppening uppening. <laughs> I got all hopped up on, on Monster Energy Drink. The hopping opening. There is another stream. There's going to be a membership stream uh, in... About an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Or an hour 40 minutes. Or so. So I am going to have to eat and stuff um, for that. Oh yeah, you can see the full glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. The whole glitch fit. This is the glitch fit. This is the glitch fit. Let me see. Rio, good night. Thank you so much for coming. So I'm all glitched out. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. I tried to find a way. I tried to figure out a way where I could make like some aspects of it like animated, like like the glitching was going like oh and moving all around, but I couldn't figure anything out. But uh, maybe if I had more time. But I think it's, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, no, it's not based off of missing no. I just found a random glitch texture and just overlaid it. But yeah. What kind of what kind of glitches would happen? Um if, you know, if I was actually glitched out. Like I probably do some like speaking glitches and stuff too, right? No, thank you for the super uh, the donation. Sean! <laughs> yeah, you can use gifts in, in VTube Studio. You actually can. Watch this, hold on. I'll show you. I'm pretty sure you can anyway. Actually, no, I'm positive you can. Hold on. Bum, ba, bum. Ba, 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 ba. Check this out. <laughs> what is he dancing to? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> you celebrate glitches by playing Death and Request? Death and Request? I don't know what that is. Get down, you the new mile and a food and said so I can't watch you. But that he day is so ni namu winter land. I don't take me to mete. What a she that came to mete. As well. What is it? I don't know the words. I don't remember the words. <laughs> this whole stream was just a cover up for this moment. No, I just picked this. I just picked this gift just on the spot. I just saw it and I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. It's my time. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Chikao, Chikao. Asuo. Chikao. Kyuto. Kyuto. What is it? Wait, I need, to, I need to do an actual performance of this. Hold on. Hold on. I build up infinite backwards momentum like Mario, move really fast. Yeah, I would do that. And then I would swim while everyone. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Promise. Holy lyrics. I'll give you guys the full effect. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Get down, you the new mile, food and set tonight. Keep watching, two days in the sun in the winter land. Anata, da ki mitsumete, watashi, da ki mitsumete, asuo, chikao, kyuto da kara mo ni koi go, 
心激しく毎日の勇気に包まれて永遠に愛してる今日より愛してるずっといたのは<笑> There we go! There we go! <笑> I'm zooming! I'm zooming! I'm zooming! Anyway <笑> Oh, I can make the buckle. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the buckle on. Let's do it one more time. One more time. One more time. Um, wait, hold on. I should, I should, I should, I should. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta do the buckle spin. We gotta do the buckle spin. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Yeah, 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 let's do this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, maybe some of you guys haven't seen this before, the, the, the buckle. Okay, wait, let's, okay, watch this, watch this. Encore, <laughs> encore, okay. What, what is it we want to have then? You guys just want to dance with me. You guys just want to dance with me. Is that all? Is that it? Get down, you little mama, the food, and it's a little kimochi. Futari de Ishani never do in Thailand. Anata takimitsumete, what a she takimitsumete, as well. Chica, go to Dakaramo and go ego, Koro. Hakashiku may eat to the Yuki to Tomate. Oh yeah, I have to do the spin. There we go. That's all we. That's all we need. That was perfect. That was perfect. Thank you for that idea, you guys. I forgot about the spin halfway through. I was having so much fun. Oh, oh, what just happened? There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming to today's presentation. Thanks to all of the membership uh, gifters today. There was a lot of... Um, there was a lot of new members. So, you guys, I'm having a membership stream in... Now it's more like one and a half hours. I'm just gonna eat my food really quick, and then we're gonna watch this like Polybius documentary together. And we, it, and the documentary itself is only an hour, uh, so we're gonna chat a little bit. Uh, um, we're gonna chat a little bit, and we're going to um 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 um, um before and after. You know, I'll have some, I'll have some close, uh, you know, one on one time with with uh, you know members, and, and then uh, it'll be fun. I think it'll be an interesting documentary. I think it's the right one, the one by Ahoy. I've been recommended a couple times by a couple different people and then someone suggested it in the, in the comments and i was like you know what that's a great idea will someone be streaming the movie on discord it's actually not a movie it's a youtube video so um you can oh thank you so much noah for posting the link yes bond made this cute little live 2d buckle and i'm very very grateful very adorable so if you use VTube Studio, you can use the um, cloud function and you can search Bucko and you can download it as well for yourself if you want to use it. Um, <clears throat> still hang out and watch again? Okay, okay. So yes, uh, that's what we're going to do tonight. It's available on YouTube. I have the I have the video linked in the description. Fandomir, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, it is a YouTube. Are we going to use Sync? I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. What I'll probably do is I'll just show you my YouTube little progress bar at the at the bottom of the stream. And you guys can uh, try and match up that way. You know, I think that'll be the best way to do it. But I'm going to go eat, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to all my regulars, irregulars. And if you were here for the first time today, um, I do this type of stream quite often. So I hope you I hope you give me another chance and check things out. Uh, I do a lot of retro gaming content. I, a lot of the games uh, we went over today were... Um, you know, on the newer side, but I like to play retro games, so, um, you know, please check me out if you enjoyed today's stream. Thank you for giving me a chance regardless, though. And, uh, thank you to all of my, um, uh, my, uh, everyone who's gonna, everyone who's gonna, uh, watch the VOD and comment on the VOD. And thank you to everyone who chats and everyone who lurks. I appreciate my lurkers as well. I know you guys are there. I know you guys are there. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, thank you to everyone who, um, 
uh, all of my uh, Dreamweavers buckles and uh, my mods as well. And thank you so much to um, everyone who donated and everyone who uh, gifted memberships today. That was very, very much appreciated. I will, see you, uh, I will see some of you guys in a little bit. I will see members in a little bit. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye.